Hello once again, welcome to our GeoCamp discussion series. In this set of lectures, we'll focus on soft sediment deformation and I'll start off with ball and pillow structures. First of all, soft sediment deformation structures are those structures that form during the deposition of sediment or shortly after at the early stages of the sediment consolidation. They typically occur when the sediment is still uh, unsolidified or still with a lot of you know liquid um, in it, such that the liquids are yet to be um, expelled fully from the sediments. Some of us classify uh, soft sediment uh, deformation as water escape uh, structures. Examples include ball and pillow structures, flame structures, um, seismites, soil markings, slum structures, um, convolute beddings, and dish structures. Now let's talk a little bit about ball and pillow structures. Ball and pillow structures are masses of plastic sediments that take the form of isolated pillows or protruding ball structures. They are typically hemispherical or kidney shaped and uh, kidney shaped and their sizes range from um, few inches to several feet. You oftentimes find, uh, find the ball and pillow structures at the base of sandstone beds that are interbedded with mudstone or generally incompetent uh, um, mud rock. There are cases of uh, you know ball and pillow structures also where you have uh, limestone uh, that overlie shale. However, that's not very common. So let's take a few examples. Uh, this is a section that shows uh, an outcrop taken from uh, Lobanta, Nigeria. So this is a uh, section that shows a plasticized calcareous marl in the form of pillow-shaped noodles. Now take a closer look at this section. Um, if you if you take a look, closer look at this, you observe something unique about the central parts of this outcrop. And clearly these are, you know, ball and pillow structures, you know, in the middle section. So this is a ball part of it. And then this, of course, is a pillow structure itself. And that is driven from the shape of this, of this, um, uh, rock units and in this case the ball and pillow structures are actually acting as load casts for the surrounding uh, muddy units and um, if you you recall uh, I mentioned that some authors actually classify uh, this uh, some of this soft sediment deformation as water escape structure so in this very case uh, water escape uh, you know, water escape from the the muddy unit actually creates what we call the flame structures. We will actually talk more about flame structures in the next um, um, part of this lecture. So thank you very much. We will talk more about um, soft sediment deformation in the next episode.